Sucking your dick in too many places. That's, that's, a, a, <laughs> so, that's the that's the album version. <laughs> that's the album version yeah. of "Looking for Love." Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> sucking your dick in too many places. Well, <laughs> the amount of times where you, you, the, I feel like the word "love" when I was in high school, I would hear so many songs. I meant sex well, always, and then you yeah. buy the album, and it's just fuck, fuck, fuck. You're like, whoa. Yeah, it also sounds better. I feel like making sex. Yeah, it's you know like, what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's or like, I feel like jerking off. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they don't make enough songs about. There's so much stand up yeah. about jerking off. Not a, almost no songs. That's true. I feel like jerking off would be a who made. I feel like making love. Was it Bon Jovi? Oh, who is that? Oh no, I think it's, it's uh, one of those hair dipshits. No, right? it's uh, mm, is it three bad company? Oh, I think it might be bad company. Three, I almost three's, said three's company. company. Yeah, is it three's totally. company? Yeah, you like me can rule <laughs> to my roommates. <laughs> But uh, I can't because okay. I gotta pretend to be gay. That's so funny. That might be the I best. I feel like fucking Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's not into me. <laughs> Boy, all the so- you know when all the songs on the radio start to make sense. Absolutely. I feel like fucking Steve. I'm sucking your dick in all the wrong places. <laughs> That's the thing. Man, why do song parodies? <laughs> Dirty song parodies make me laugh. I don't know if I, you know, I'm 30 now. I thought, oh, this is just me and my friends like doing this in seventh grade. I'm sure yeah. I'll, when I grow up, I'll enjoy uh, wordplay like Shakespearean highbrow shit. <laughs> yeah. I thought one day I would grow up, but now a dirty song parody that you make up on the spot might be still the funniest thing. Totally, ever. dude. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's still, I guess it must be. Like, all poop and butt humor is still my favorite thing. Yeah, it's hard to beat. Yeah. Kids know it's fun. They know it's funny. And I think the older you get, it's the thing that happens less and less, even if you are around comedians all the fucking time. Like, yeah. it never gets old, because I don't even think that it's, like, when you're a kid, it's taboo, and you're like, ooh, I'm saying shit now. Hey, mom, I took a fucking shit, <laughs> you asshole, you know? <laughs> I shit, mom. Uh <laughs> It but <laughs> now we just don't do it. Yeah. Just naturally. So it's still fun. Do you ever cuss in front of your parents? Uh you know what? I do now. Whoa. But still very occasionally. Yeah. Which ones? Um I say like fuck you, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's to my dad. <laughs> yeah, totally. And then I say, suck my dick, mom. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I've never like I, I, that's always a thing that blows me away. Anybody that can say I don't even I don't even I don't even know if I've ever said to any of my parents at any time, like an imperative sentence. Right. Like, I hate you or don't do that. Or like, yeah, I was just raised it. in such a such fear of these tall people. Right. Who are in charge. Yeah. Like and I was like, if I say that, they will shoot me out of a cannon. Did you ever see your dad's dick? I think everyone has. I think everyone has too. Obviously, I'm not talking about a like a some abuse situation. I mean, right. I saw mine, and I'm, and uh, you know, he was an adult and I was a kid. Right. So for like a decade, I was like, my dad has the largest <laughs> penis in the world. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's the I largest think... thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I just dad. remember being like, "What the fuck, dude? Are we?" Because I've seen mine, and then right. I saw his adult dick, and I was like, what is going on, man? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I honestly think that dads might uh, all do it. Like, when their kids are young, like, accidentally, oh, shit, they well, saw my dick, so they know who's in charge. I think they know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. I think lions probably do that to the yeah. cubs. Like, look, who's in charge of this house? 
Exactly. They make it seem like an accident, but they that's what they want. They that's want exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's like not a thing where they uh, really want. It's like not important for them to for, for for you to see their dick, but it's important for them for you to know how big their dick is. Well, they had a dad, yeah. too. Right. And so they, they go, well, I want him to respect me the way I respected my dad's huge penis. I'll tell you this. You know how uh, there's all these studies that show that as human uh humanity has progressed as uh we've evolved we've slowly and incrementally gotten smarter and smarter you can even see it in how we like yeah it's true like we how we process tv it's just because we keep getting more and more information like a show the shows that are on tv now wouldn't exist 50 years ago not only because tv hadn't been around very long but because the human brain hadn't been worked up to processing that amount of things happening at the same time Right, right, right. Or we're just used to TV or whatever. And it's uh, so, yeah, uh, the IQ slowly, the average IQ slowly raises. So over time, we get smarter and smarter. And I also think uh, incrementally over time, our dicks have gotten smaller and smaller. You think so? Yeah, what, definitely. How did you figure that I just that? think my great grandfather probably had like a four foot <laughs> dick. And that's why he like started a business when he was seven, you know? You know what I mean? Right. I, uh, <laughs> they, that's how you got a license. I mean, my great grandmother had like a very, very tight pussy. You know what I mean? And uh, they're just confident, confident people. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're just people that were like, yeah, I'm the best version of this shit. You know? And now right. we're all like, I don't know. I mean, I, we're all tight in the brain. I was, you know? I'd always thought people got. <laughs> Bigger and dumber. Like, you look at those skeletons from the old days. They mm-hmm. were short. And I thought, it seems, when you read what they write, you go, oh, they must have been smart. Really? Right, yeah. <laughs> in caves? Well, not in caves. Okay. But I think from, like, uh, it seems like people started to get smart. Was Galileo the first smart guy? <laughs> Who was the first smart guy? I think that there was people before that, you know? I mean. Like, the, even the people he was arguing with were smart. That's true. That's crazy that there you could be smart and think the like they were like the earth yeah. is flat and the earth you know and they were smart. It's one of the most confounding parts of humanity that you can be smart you can be smart and be wrong and then you can be smart and be manipulated. Right. I mean I know I am. I, I Yeah, totally. I don't know what anything is. Do you one know One time anything? I was uh watching TV and then I got up and I went to my car and I drove to Jack in the Box and I had ordered my food before I realized <laughs> that I saw a Jack in the Box ad. <laughs> And I was like, fuck. Right. It, they did it. It was just a picture of uh, a bunch of meat and cheese. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. Dude. And I just robot floated to my car and went to this place. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it worked. Oh. How is it legal um, to show like cheese melting on TV? Yeah. That's not fair. Totally. What am I, and I know what cheese does to my stomach. And I know I don't need it ever again. Absolutely. Not even once. But when I see, especially when it's getting pulled up, when you sh- they show that pizza getting pulled apart, it really feels random Ooh. at this point, doesn't it? Yeah. You can advertise cheese, but you can't advertise alcohol, but you can do beer, not cigarettes. I right. mean, what are we talking about? Yeah, it's a weird uh, pastiche. I would love to see a modern cigarette commercial. I wish they would make it legal for a year just so I could see. Yeah. You know. Yeah, totally. How do you advertise? I don't see how you advertise it. Dude, you wouldn't even at all. It would just be a bunch of kids playing at a park, and then it would just be like, camel. <laughs> Give it to your kids. <laughs> Dude, I saw a Crown Royal commercial the Whoa. other day. I hadn't seen one in forever. Um, oh, can you advertise liquor on TV again? I don't know where I saw it. It was an, Maybe it was probably YouTube or something. Huh, okay. So it's a Crown Royal commercial where it's this guy, and he's just got a Crown Royal bag in his hand with a little liquor in it, and he's, like, helping an old lady across the street, and he goes to a barbershop, and he's like, hey, everybody, hey, hey. And they're like, hey, buddy. And, and and then he's walking down the street, and there's a lady, like, beating a rug out the window. It's like, how you doing, Jimmy? And he's like, hey, old lady. And then he walks in, and it's Christmas, and his mom's there. And him and his mom do a have, like, a, a little uh, Crown Royal neat, and they clink it. And he's like, I love you, Mom. And I was like, that's it was a ama- it made, I was like, man, whiskey's good. Wow. It has nothing to do with <laughs> it's the le- it, like nothing to do with whiskey. <laughs> right. Totally like, oh, whiskey will bring you and your family closer. Yeah. It'll make you have a tight knit community. It'll make you the George Bailey of your street all the time. Man. I mean, it was great. And I'm like, if they did that with sick and then he was just like smoking with his mom, like, I love you, Ma. Wow. And We're it smoking. never <laughs> It had nothing to do. He didn't seem drunk. No, nope. or they didn't even. I don't even think you saw them sip it once. You saw him clink it. Wow. Yeah. 
Damn. It was really something. And uh, I, I was I was I was like, man, that is not <laughs> I remember one time I saw an ad, dude, that said um, it was like one of those ads that I was like sure it was going to be a Ford F-150 commercial because it was like just a bunch of dust. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? There's a bunch of mm. dust plumes and then like you see like horses running <laughs> and there's like a cowboy. He's like leaning on a fence and then the the voiceover is like out here. <laughs> Much you can do except be a man who's strong or whatever. <laughs> Just like when you live alone in a shed in the desert, you think about horses and you get strong. <laughs> and uh, and then it just goes Miller High Life. Whoa! And I was like, wow. Okay. And then it, it it was like a one two punch. And then it came around. It was like a jab out of nowhere. Uh, Miller High Life. And then it said, support the troops. And I was Whoa. like, what the fuck? And I, <laughs> it sucks. Like, that's a big way. Uh, that's like a, a like one of the, the most basic manipulation tools that works on most people because we all want to oh. support the troops. Right. Just like people were like, oh, Miller High Life supports the troops. I better get a Miller High Life. Like, fuck you, Miller. And what, com <laughs> what beer company would be uh, about uh, lowering the military budget? Hey, yeah, exactly. Drink Goose Island and uh, and and sign a treaty. Yeah, yeah, totally. Hey. Yeah, right. What are we talking about? Totally. You got to <laughs> pick one: Jose Cuervo or tanks. <laughs> you got to drink Golden Road and commit treason. <laughs> it's it's also like that imagery they wouldn't want to associate. Like, how great would an ad be that's just like the guy at Tiananmen Square stopping the tank, but they Photoshop a Bud Light in his hands. <laughs> We're almost there. I know. We're almost there. <laughs> totally. Uh, <laughs> Bud Light, do you. <laughs> Be yourself. <laughs> I've totally. never understood the tie-in ad. Like, yeah. I, you know, it, it's a bizarre thing. It must work or they wouldn't do it, but it's like, go see Spider-Man and eat at Subway. But why would right? What are the odds I'm going to do both? And who agreed to this? Also, if you're doing that, why isn't there a toy? Right. You know what I mean? Why are kids the only ones that get a fucking toy? And I mean this. Yeah, I want a toy. If your McDonald's is doing a tie-in with Star Wars, I want a lightsaber. Yes. Or a comic book. Give me a or comic book. Or a comic book. book. Or yeah, like a like a hat. You know what I mean? Dude, I'll never forget cardboard hat. When I was a kid, one time they had a promotion at pizza hut where it was like get a pizza and we'll tape a dvd to it <laughs> free dvd with a pizza i don't know how long they did it oh my god but i remember like running up to my dad i saw i saw a coupon i was like dad 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 dad, dad. <laughs> we gotta do it we go get a pizza it's a free movie and it was mr mom oh man and so we're eating pizza watching mr mom i was like this is the greatest life of no, all time shit it was wow. five bucks for a pizza and a movie do you remember that when you go into a baseball game they used to give you, like, a real, actual item you want. Yeah. I remember one time I went to a Braves game, and I got a whole baseball bat. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and even as a kid, I was like, I don't think this is good. Everyone in the whole stadium is holding a bat. Are we still going to go through a metal detector? <laughs> you Here's your bat. Here's your baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. Beer's two bucks. Here's a bat. Wow. Yeah. Dude. That's and uh, we are really confident that Atlanta's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> we don't yeah. get if, if you're an orioles fan totally you don't get anything uh you might not want to come in <laughs> we're actually going to take your shoes yeah we're, gonna, we're giving our fans bats and uh yeah you're i think today you're gonna want to root for the braves <laughs> <laughs> free beer and bats yeah, free for knife us. day free <laughs> knife day at the atlanta braves game and uh, yeah, you can come if you're a fan of the A's. <laughs> you can come and you can sit with us on knife day. <laughs> knife day only. You can sit right next to super fans <laughs> of the Atlanta Brave. I couldn't believe it. Damn. I was like, we should go all the time. No, I think that I was thinking the other day, like, I don't know if this is true. I know that Russia goes to the Olympics a lot. Yeah. But do they not have a football team? They have football there? I've I don't never think seen so. it. I think they should do it because I think it helps us stay together. You know? Oh, sure. Georgia gets, we get to attack uh, Michigan, you know? Oh, I see. It, and it satisfies your war. Oh, your oh that's war a in your good soul. point. Yeah. 
I think everywhere they should make it a low, like a Geneva Convention thing. Every country, you got to have some football going right. so that you can get it out of your system. Right. You know? I don't know if there's any truth to that, but I thought of it. I think they have a soccer, like a few soccer Okay, leagues. that's good. That's yeah, good, too. Totally. But I don't know if... I mean, Russia's clearly so fucked up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they've... If the states within Russia have played Ukraine recently. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think probably not. I think you're making a really good point. Yeah, sports is war, kind of. Yes, it's inner inner country war. Right, war between your states. And the more violent, the healthier for your country. Right, right. The worse for the people playing the sport. Like yes. we're literally, we're like sacrificing the brain of 23 year olds so Texas doesn't bomb California. Right, <laughs> but. <laughs> And thank God. And right. I think that we should really celebrate our fallen heroes, all the under 30-year-olds that have CTE, right. in order to save Los Angeles uh, from uh, getting blown up by Houston. That would be... Yeah. That's a very... I swear. It's good for them. You know, the, we started uh, college football uh, the year after the Civil War, and we haven't had one since. Yeah. You know that? That's true. It's not true, but I, I don't no, know what year. True. Is it? <laughs> No, I don't know what year college football started, but I think it helps. No one ever since college football, no one in America has gotten mad at anyone else in America. Exactly. Yeah, we've all agreed. <laughs> everyone's everyone's a Republican in America. That seems that way. Which is sort of how I think people in Europe feel. They do. Yeah, like they're all on a horse and hammered and screaming. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the Republicans are Republicans. Democrats are also Republicans. Right, totally. And, and leftists uh, are like whiny little babies who have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, why, why are you guys so old and stupid? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> well, I guess I'll keep yelling in this office. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, a podcast is sports for people that aren't athletic. Sure. We get to feel like, hey, I'm talking into a microphone. I'm pretty much like the president. Yeah, right. Exactly. I get to say something. I get to talk about the war. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you used to have to be a reporter. You used to have to right. try to get the scoop, you know, and sell it to a bald guy. Yeah. You get a bald guy to buy your story about the murder. Or you were a photographer and you got pictures of dead people and you're right, like, buy right. my pictures of these dead people, you know? I'm blown away by journal. You ever see those old, uh, you watch a documentary and it's like, Hey, we're going to storm uh, Normandy. And there's a guy filming it. No gun. Oh, yeah. Just got a camera. I right. mean, wha what? First of all, it's That's crazy. Insane. Cameras cost like a billion dollars back then. Right. And it's like, can't we just do this uh, secretly? Totally. Do we need to film it? Honey, I sold the house. I'm going to go make a movie where I die. Yeah. Well, I mean, wow. Yeah. Wow. I just, I'm amazed by that. Yeah. The fact that there's any documentation of world war ii in vietnam is is fucking insane unreal yeah i just i mean i i guess it's brave but i'm also like what what yeah you couldn't uh <laughs> you couldn't just ask him what happened yeah. i don't know i guess there's probably a good reason but that's just wild to me just ask him what happened. does the camera have a shield <laughs> right <laughs> yeah do you have a friend with you <laughs> is there someone in front of you with a gun yeah what are you doing you know yeah i just i, I wouldn't want that job I Maybe the camera a has a bayonet on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a the camcorder bayonet with a big camera. knife on the end. <laughs> well, it's if like you put the... a knife on your gun, put it on your camera. <laughs> yeah, no shit, dude. Do it anyway. We do. Every time we record an episode, we put a knife on Kyle's <laughs> iPhone. Yeah. Bayonet. I... <laughs> that way anyone runs in. We don't, we don't lose any of the episode. Oh, dude, I don't know if you can see it, but on the way here, I got splashed by a bus. Did you? Dude, I don't know how it happened. It didn't rain. Wow. You're like a Mentos commercial. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I, I yeah. it was so funny <laughs> and it was so obvious. Like it was a big loud splash in a yeah. very populated corner. Women, children, families, everyone saw it. Everyone laughed. They laughed? Everybody. It was wow. so it was really funny. Damn. Because it surprised me and it was like, whoo. Was it your whole how much of that splash? I think it must have just dried because it was I mean everything. Really? And a lot. Like like I was at a theme park and the you know when the log ride crashes down, yeah. it's like, whoa, we're getting whoa. It was like that. Damn. Yeah, it was insane. I'd never haven't had that, especially like in LA. You're that you're that bouncing ball in the depression ads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's like my favorite ad. The, the, the black and white animation is like, are you depressed? Yeah. And it's just like a circle under a rain cloud. Yeah. And it gets splashed by a bus and it like stubs its toe. It doesn't have toes, but it's like, ah, shit. You know? <laughs> ah, fuck. I stubbed the bottom oh, of my man. circle. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, damn it. No, it wasn't. I didn't even think it was. Uh, wow. I didn't know that happened to people. I didn't either. And boy, it was so funny, too, because I'm sitting there like sipping my coffee, eating an apple. I'm like, I'm on the way to my podcast. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I've been got. I. Uh, it's also like it doesn't rain. It hasn't rained in L.A. in 500 years. Yeah. Yeah. You found the only puddle. You and the bus found the only puddle right, what in are the Los odds? Angeles County. And I was totally. just uh, I couldn't even be that mad because it wasn't that. It was just water. It wasn't muddy water. God was like, it's Caleb's day. It's Caleb's bad day. Caleb gets a bad day today. Let's line him up with this puddle. Here comes the bus. Fuck Caleb right now. And I was like, there's one puddle in this town. (laughs) Exactly. And I'm one person. (laughs) And it was me. (laughs) I couldn't believe it. Sometimes you eat the puddle, and sometimes the puddle eats you. (laughs) That's what my father used to say. And he was always wet. Just a big wet man with a big old dog. That's the thing. You know dads, what I mean? dads don't tell you which sayings they are making up. They what? just tell yeah. you that's a saying. They don't tell you the history. Yeah. So you don't know if it's Mark Twain or this is just a dad original until you try them out at school. A dad original. I feel like dads hang out and they like test out sayings on each other before they can say them to their kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, sometimes you drink the OJ and sometimes you J-O all day. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. That is true. I guess that is true, but I don't those know are, if Those are two things. Scott. <laughs> Scott, Brian, Steve, and Dan all put their heads together and decide which uh, collection of sounds uh, will make their son feel bad that week. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what's the, if you had kids, what was what's your first saying you're going to tell them? Uh, what's a Dave original? Yeah, well, don't start an argument. (laughs) I couldn't even say it. All right, son, sit down, okay? Sit down on this log next to me. You know, this is the talking log. (laughs) Where where I'm going to tell you how to think, because I'm your father. Never get in an argument until you empty your balls. (laughs) That's right. Don't yell at your mother until you jerk off. (laughs) <laughs> what's funny is that that like is a piece of advice that people give yes like that yeah. is, it's, it is advice don't go to bed angry and uh don't uh be angry uh just because you didn't jerk off right you know that's true yeah you gotta okay i'll think of a real what's a real one what's a real saying i might say to my kids um Oh man, I can't. I don't have uh, nuggets of wisdom that are like ready to go in my brain. Yeah, I don't think I've found anything out really. Yeah, exactly. I think there there was something one time I said to my friend Ty, uh, (laughs) I hadn't been thinking about this, and it was nothing anyone had ever said to me. And uh, and I can't believe it because it's epic and dramatic, and it wasn't serious what was going on. And he he was just like, he was like, God damn it, man. I had a fucking terrible day. I was pissed off as hell. I came home and then I got in an argument with our fucking roommate immediately. And I was just like, well, fire begets more fire, man. Oh, there you go. And he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> we were 19. And I said that to him. You said beget? Beget. Wow. Yeah, totally. You grew up in uh, Stratford-upon-Avon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, my father was the Book of Mormon. <laughs> yeah. We talked a lot about begetting when I was a kid. Right. Yeah, totally. And uh, everything, we measured everything in fortnights. Yeah. <laughs> what could the use of that possibly be? Fortnite and hey, score? Let's call two weeks a, a night. Yeah. For what? And whoever says score. Yeah. Nobody. Four score and seven years ago takes longer to say than 87. Right. And it's like, what is a score? I guess now that I've lived more than 20 years. Yeah. But I'm like, those really are bad units. I turned two scores old this year. <laughs> two scores. I guess maybe it's Which for Which was old your people. favorite score? 
Uh, Zero to 20 or 20 to 40? For sure the second one. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, because the first, so the first decade was tight, you know? Mm. I didn't know shit. I was running into walls. I was puking all the time. You know what I mean? I didn't know what a boner was, and I didn't care. No one told me. Why were we puking so much? You weren't drunk. No, dude. It was all that bug juice. You know what I mean? I was eating bugs. I was going outside yeah. and eating bugs. Did you have sometimes. bug juice? Because I went to scout camp, and at scout camp, you get bug juice. What the fuck is it's that? It's just fruit punch, but they call it bug juice because sometimes it's green, sometimes it's purple. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you want some bug juice? And I think it's just like they pour sugar into water, right. and then they find something else to make it a certain color. I did drink all sugar and eat candy and cookies for yeah. the first 10 years. And you just like puke, and then you stand up and run around more, <laughs> run into the wall. Some weird would happen. You start crying. Your mom would make you feel better. I yeah. think everyone would be every everyone would still be fine if that was still the case. Yeah. If every time I got dumped, my mom picked me up and patted my back. Yeah. You know what I mean? People don't pat. Mom! <laughs> and I just like curl up with my mom. You know, we just watch the Sandlot while I cry. We get over a breakup like that, dude. Dude, I remember <laughs> my first breakup. I wasn't allowed to have a girlfriend until I was sixteen, but I got one in sixth grade oh, for shit. like one day. Oh, okay. And it was on a Friday. And uh, I told my sister, and my sister tattled and go, Caleb has a girlfriend. Ugh. And uh, so my mom goes, look, you got, you're got you not allowed to have a girlfriend. you got to break up with her first thing on Monday. Oh so all God. weekend, I'm just going, what? Oh, and I didn't even have her phone number. I hadn't thought of that. Sure. I was a bad boyfriend. Yeah. So she's just sitting at home <laughs> being my girlfriend at her parents' house. <laughs> I'm at my parents' house. Right. And uh, Damn. <laughs> This is in sixth grade? Yeah. Wait, so, this sounds horrible of your mom. Like, well, I wasn't allowed. They were like, you can't have a girlfriend until you can drive. Like, there was a, some rule that uh, I guess is in the Bible. I don't, I don't know. understand this rule. But uh, no girlfriend. So so I get back. To, I get to school Monday. I'm riding the bus like, oh, I got yeah. a breakup coming. Shit. <laughs> never yeah. occurred to me to, like, lie or, or not do it. Right. Or tell my mom I did. That never occurred to me either. Right. My parents would be like, don't cut school. And then I just never did. Yeah. And my friends all did. And he'd be like, you're going to come? And I'd be like, I can't. And he'd be like, yes, you can. <laughs> right, but I but I can't, though. <laughs> no, but I, no, I can't. It's like, I can't fly. It's, it's against the rules. So I get to school, and I'm like, I remember I was wearing a leather jacket. <laughs> oh, man, hell yeah, dude. I had just gotten my brother's hand-me-down leather jacket, so I was like, it's yeah. time to be single again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. That's so funny. So I walk up to her, I'm like, my mom says I got to break up with you. And she's like, what? Oh, man. And I was like, yeah, you know, you're not my girlfriend anymore. And oh, man, she hated She was so mad. Sure. Yeah. And then uh, later that day, she dated my uh, friend Wesley. Wow. Sure. <laughs> they were, yeah. Like three hours later. And I was like, man. great. And he's like, man, thanks so much for breaking up with her. Now she's my girlfriend. I was like, dude. Women always have, uh, you know, they say they always have someone else in the chamber. You right. Know? Yeah. Especially when they're in sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> they literally have a list. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're not, no one even cares. Totally. Yeah. Uh, you get a list and, uh, you know, move, bump up the next totally. one. Totally. Yeah. Who's next on the list? Right. Absolutely. Wesley. And he's like, sweet. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Today's going to be good. <laughs> and then later that day, she dumps him. He gets splashed by a bus. And it's, uh, you know, one day you're dating Ashley. The next day you're wet. <laughs> and that's just how life goes. That's the saying I'm going to say to my kid. <laughs> Son, sit down. Sit down on this log. It's time to have a talk on the log like we do once a week. Look, you're not, you're not going to understand what I'm saying to you for uh, like years, but I just got to tell you, sometimes you're dating Ashley and then sometimes you're wet. And that's just how life is. <laughs> yeah. I dated Ashley and I went back and forth between dating Ashley and being wet until I met your mother and I haven't been wet since. Tell you what she has, though. <laughs> You'll get it. I hope. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Man, you're going to be a great dad. I'm going to be a great you're fucking be a dad. Very good dad. Um, I'm going to do also like because because like I've lived in this lifetime of us like exponentially speeding fast, faster mm -hmm. through acceptance. Yeah. Uh, what the one I'm going to be trying to like the stuff I'm going to be trying to figure out is conveying to my kids. Whoever you are, whatever you are, no matter what the world says, I'm here for you, and I got your back no matter what, and I want to be a part of it, and I want to know you. Like, I'm going to be that dad, 
but I also want to do it in such a way where I'm not making a massive fucking deal about it because I want it to just be regular. Right. But then you kind of got to figure out how to navigate. Like, still, there are always going to be parts of the world that are going to judge you yeah. and shit. So I'm going to I'm going to fuck it up miserably. I know I will. And I'm going to have to but I'm going to try. That's all that really matters. But uh, I'm going to be like, hey, whoever you fuck, I love that. And they're gonna be like, what? And uh, fuck, fuck whoever. You know what I'm saying? That's Whatever you're into, I'll fuck them, too. No, wait a minute. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. But I think it's cool. You're fucking it. And I want to watch. No, I don't want to watch. <laughs> I wonder what it's got to be like for her. <laughs> For a woke dad. <laughs> yeah. A woke dad, because you're still a kid. Like, you're ashamed of your parents no matter what, and you're embarrassed exactly. by it. Exactly. I wonder if there's, like, kids with woke parents who are like, oh, I want to come out, but then I'm going to have to do my dad's podcast. <laughs> I might just stay into totally, college. Dude, I just, oh my god! I don't know if I really want to hang out with him that much. Oh, uh, boy, he's gonna want to like write a screenplay with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Man, Whoa, yeah. we're like almost accidentally creating a. Right, a generation of completely closeted kids, just right. like, oh man, <laughs> my dad's way too pumped. He, I my, told him I was straight, and he was disappointed. My dad was this really publicly accepting guy in the yeah. 2020s, and uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm not gonna come out till he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be gay in secret till I'm 80, but yeah. uh, you know, no one cares. <laughs> all all their friends are like, yeah, we all know. Just don't tell our dads. Right. It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, face, I remember when, face, when parents found out about Facebook and mm -hmm. were like, now it's ruined. Yeah, yeah. It will never recover from this. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Totally. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to What's It Called, well, everybody. Hey, hello. Your parents don't know about this. Get ready to lay down, motherfuckers. That's right. How you doing, What's It What's it Squad? squad? What Squad? Yeah. Richard Welcome Carnes. to the show, Richard Carnes. This is What's It Called. Hell we yeah. don't know what our podcast is called. What is it called? Never did, never will, and no. currently don't. But we rename shit sometimes. And we're the Potato Boys. That's right. Hell yeah. yeah. We've been renaming a lot of fucking shit. We have. It's been and, fun. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Yeah, we got I a like lot of ways it. that y'all can jump in with us and hang out with us online. Uh, links to all of our social media and to join our Discord and watch us on Twitch and shit. It's all on our website, what's it called, dot rodeo. Mm. Also, if you're watching us on YouTube, we are wearing fucking what's it called hats? Yes. What's it hats? These are not out yet, but we are going to be launching our merch store at some point soon. Whenever we uh, get it all, yeah. we just want to get it all perfect. Yeah. Well, we wanted to make stuff that we liked. Yeah. And I love hats. I always wear one until I take a shower. That's my motto. Yeah. Sometimes it's for a day or a Whereas weekend. I only wear it in the shower. And Dave's hats all look like shit. Yeah, totally. Uh, but, but I, I shower dry. <laughs> he dry cleans himself. I just stand there. <laughs> it's got a very powerful fan, and it just blows your body Well, odor. I stand in the shower, but I point the water at the sink. <laughs> so I get the steam, you know. But I'm naked except for the hat. Yeah, and I wear a condom, obviously. <laughs> I got a condom on, and I wear the hat for whatever merch I'm selling that week, and I steam it, you know. And I just let my pores open up, and then I clean the sink. And, uh, you know, if yeah. you shower that way, you're going to love these hats. Right. Email us. What the hell is it called at gmail.com if you shower stupid like yeah. me? Yeah. Well, email us whatever you want. We'll rename your stuff. Any ideas you got. Uh, if you like the show. If you think. Uh, if you don't like the show, lie and say you yeah, do. Yeah, totally. We like the good positive emails. Like we've said, really a really fun thing to do is to go on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify and rate us five stars. It would help so much, please. And then in the review, write three and a half stars. Yes, yes. I think that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's yeah, we stuff. just need that five, you know. Oh, also, since we're talking about merch, we're like, we're, we're set on that. We're going to make, make a bunch of logo stuff. We love the three question marks logo. Um, but also, if you have specific references we've made or stupid merch we've talked about in the past that you're interested in seeing, uh, please write us. You can, like, write at us uh, on Instagram or Twitter, if you want, at What's It Pod, or email us, what the hell is it called, at gmail.com, or jump in our Discord and say something, because, yeah, we're really, like, we want to make uh, stuff you want, and dumb shit. Yeah. We want to make some dumb shit. I love dumb know? shit. Yeah. You want a hoodie? Well, we might do it. I'm dumb, and I always shit. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of shitting. That is a mostly life. Mm-hmm. But if you take out that and sleeping, I don't really, uh, it's just, I just do this podcast. Yeah, it's just eating uh, chips, really. Sometimes I go to the store. Eat a lot of chips. I think at least 20% of my life is eating chips. Oh, I ate some chips last night. How was it? I had a bag of Ruffles. That's good stuff. Oh, I forgot. We talking flavored or just straight up Ruffs? Just uh, plain salted Hell yeah. uh, Ruffles. And 
Dude, I, I had to make myself stop because I was eating so many snacks. I had this. Uh, wow, I didn't realize you were a rough rider. I'm like a me. rough rider. Yeah. Stop, jumped up, shop. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So uh, that's how we roll. Chew, chew, chew. So I try. I made a rule for myself. I had to stop eating, buying chips because I would eat three bags. I would just love them. Oh, yeah. And then you wake up and your head hurts. Oh, God. Uh, but I got one. Like, if I get a free bag of chips, <laughs> I can eat it. Yeah. And I got a free bag of chips. Oh, my God. That's great. Ruffle, check out Ruffles. If oh, you haven't man. had just a plain. Hey, shout out to oh. Ruffles. Those things are amazing. We love you so much, Ruffles. We're looking for a sponsor, so uh, if you know anyone at Lay's. Yeah. <laughs> and we, uh, again, we have, like, uh, pre-recorded this episode, uh, like, a because of the move for me, uh, moving to New York, which I physically haven't done yet as we've recorded, but as it's come out, I've been there for a month. Isn't that so, crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. We're, we've recorded a month and a half in advance. Um, we had a great day hanging out at El Segundo Brewing oh, yeah. yesterday. Oh, and, uh, magical. They gave us a bunch of their beer, and it's such good beer. And so we don't know at this exact moment what our relationship is with them yet. Um, it would be crazy to call them a sponsor or whatever there. But we do know they're great, and we get along yeah. great, and they gave us some of their beer. And so it's at least worth amping them right now. Yeah. Shout out to El Segundo. Yeah. I really especially love Delicious loved- beer. The uh, the citra pale, yeah. Because I don't normally when I I when I'm getting a pale ale, I just tend to get an IPA. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think of just getting a regular pale ale. And it was great. The guy just assumed uh, he was so cool. His name's Josh. We met him there. We were sitting uh, out in the sun at their tap room in El Segundo, and he Beautiful. was like, "Well, we'll get we'll get you something light." And I was worried because something light tends to mean a pilsner, and pilsners aren't my favorite lately. But he brings no. this like. C- slight citrusy pale ale called Citra Pale, and it was perfect. Dude. Oh, it was so refreshing it was and fucking tropical. So good, We're a couple dude. of beach boys. It was just a great LA. And I hadn't oh. had a day like that in a while, like no mask, sipping beer oh. outside in the sun. It was cool. We're just laughing, Kyle talking came. about our yeah. buddy Jim came, who's old friends with them. Yeah, it was I gotta great. tell you, I got drunk. Well, I got drunk too, dude. And I have not st- been like I was just like. Give me a red. Give me a stout. Yeah. Give me an IPA. I want to try them all. Thank you so much. It's free. We're eating pizza. We had pizza. It was like I was 19. Truly. Yeah. It was great. And then I, uh, you know, when I got home, I realized that I am 30. Yeah. And if I drink pizza and beer all day, I, I, I'm going to pass out and die. I had a real case of shit butt. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was, it was horrific. I shit I was out of my fr- butt. I was afraid to take the bus yeah. because I didn't want to shit on the bus. More like take the butt, <laughs> you know? Take the bus, more like shit the butt. That's what know? I was doing. Yeah, but check out also good. They're great. Um, that yeah. was just that was just fantastic. It's cool. That was a great day, and I hope that we get to uh, work with them more. Yeah, 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 me too. And if you if you have a business and you'd like to sponsor us, do it. You know? Yeah, totally. We're do we're it. To it. Do you Especially work at Nike? You're local to um, L.A. or New York? Yeah. Like truly, I'm interested in meeting people in New York too. Hell yeah, yeah hit us up. I love stuff. Yeah. And uh, you want you need to get on this Patreon. That's what I've been meaning to say. Hell yeah, dude. We have the best Patreon in the podcast game. I don't care who you got, what you think. Uh, we got the and our bonus episodes are twice as good as these. Yeah. Easy on a bad day. Totally. We so, talk a lot about. Sometimes it gets real dirty. We've yeah, talked about that. <laughs> it does, which I love. It gets dirty. I and love then... dirty jokes, but I also but my problem with dirty jokes is that it is like. If you make what you're doing about being dirty, right. it's like thirsty and it's too much. If it happens organically, I'm so down. But so much dirty comedy is like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I hate that. I hate that vibe. That. Yeah. And it's also like it, a lot of times it's so boring because everyone said it before. Like, it, do you know what getting your Red Wings is? Oh. And you're just like, come Oof. on, guys. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's so that frat guy kind of humor where they, they think sex is like fear factor, where it's like <laughs> these are like challenges. I'm like, did yeah. you enjoy it? Did they? Why? Yeah, what are, what totally. are you talking about? You ever done where you're up the upside down pirate? Oh, that uh, one. Yeah, that's that. Well, yeah. What are you doing? Do you do you like sex? Why um, are you adding jackass stunts to your sex? Yeah. I don't think I, something's up. We should come up with a list of those that are not ones that you think would be in there. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, uh, like, uh, oh, have you heard of the pirate's happiness? Uh, that's when she pegs you when you get married. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking peg leg, you know. You ever done the <laughs> Protestant Christian? <laughs> I swear you meet a lady, get married, <laughs> yeah. 
and you have sex like five times. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Only for yeah. reproduction. And, and that, yeah, right, right. Ever right. done that? Pretty good. Um you ever do the uh you ever do the full blown finding yourself? That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh that's when you ask a woman out, you go on a couple dates, and uh you realize that actually you're into something a little bit more specific sexually <laughs> than one of the two genders. <laughs> And you're open with her about it, and uh, she feels like the, she's the same way, and you try to navigate it together as friends. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, you ever done The Great Communicator? <laughs> it's where uh, your third marriage, you uh, chill out and uh, more open with your feelings, and she takes care of you as you die. Mm. Pretty good. Oh man! You ever do the uh, the the ninety nine anal? <laughs> That's when you both like anal. Whoa! And it's one of the reasons you got married, and you have a lot of anal. You fuck her, she fucks you. You both love it, and it's part of your bond. You ever do that? It's part of your bond, and you have kids. You don't tell the kids, but the kids would be happy to know that you do anal because it's one of the reasons your relationship is so strong. <laughs> anal, 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 anal. I love anal. So does my wife. Fuck me, fuck her, fucking both of our asses. Why does it sound yeah. like a, <laughs> it sound like a President's Day car sale? Anal, commercial. anal, anal. <laughs> yeah. Toyota presents Analthon. Get a car. Fuck me. You know what I mean? <laughs> fuck me in my asshole and fuck the car in the gas pipe. You know, this is another time <laughs> where I imagine somebody walking by with like a stack of papers, like ah, I gotta go make some copies. <laughs> Like three feet from our door. <laughs> like, Who was it that tweeted just recently? Fuck, dude, it was so funny. I wish I remembered it. Someone in my feed. <laughs> Maybe it was a stand-up bit. They were like, um, do you think uh, Toyota's going to have a sale when COVID ends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I think it might have been Chappelle Lacey. It was very funny. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got a shout out to Patreon. Yeah, people. yeah. We got Don't a new patro uh, patron this we got week. Some new patrons. Everybody who joins gets a Hell shout yeah. out. Shout out to this name is similar. Always fun name. Always a fun name. Eric's Svarkbergs. Eric's Svarkbergs. E R I K S. S V A R C B E R G S. Wow. There's all sorts of uh, expectations not being met as that name progresses. You know I what I mean? Just, I can't believe it. Surprise after surprise, every letter. It really takes a turn. Eric's Sparkbergs. Shout, Shout out, out to you. Thanks so much for joining Hell us. Oh, yeah, dude. Happy to have you. And we got to rename fucking Jurassic Park this week. Ooh, buddy. Boy, and let me tell you something. What that thing holds up? That first Jurassic. Oh my Park, God! Uh, and I like the other Jurassic Parks too. But... Good mouth trumpet. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <That's great>. <laughs> like... <laughs> Thanks, man. You've always had the best mouth trumpet in the game. Thanks, man. Well, <laughs> you should watch me fly a helicopter through a ravine. <laughs> <laughs> I always I'm flying the helicopter and I'm like everybody shut up shut up shut up shut up shut up, shut up. through like a with a through a ravine with a lot of foliage you know I'm like everybody shut the fuck up <laughs> put on your headphones here we go <laughs> yeah man it's a beautiful moment <laughs> wow I hope you fly a helicopter one day thank you that's the funniest thing to do I don't know if there's anything <laughs> funnier than imagining you flying a helicopter yeah it's my dad really flies funny. helicopters and that's planes that's insane yeah and it sucks too I have like uh, when I hit my uh, when I hit college age when I would be back in the summer he would try to get me like fly with him mm -hmm. and obviously that would be cool to know how to fly of course but I was a uh, um, idiot and uh, <laughs> I would be like yeah yeah totally 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 and when you fly planes for some reason you gotta leave at five in the morning yeah, and yeah. Uh, I think it's just because he's a dad and he wakes up at four but uh, one day I was supposed to uh, fly a plane with him and I woke up at five in the morning on his bathroom floor Oh, I walked through my parents bedroom to the bathroom in their bedroom <sighs> to throw up in it oh man I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Maybe I threw up too much in mine, and I was like, this "Yeah, is too you filled it up. Much. Forgot about flushing. Oh, it's full. <laughs> fuck, I forgot about flushing. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> or maybe I like I ate in there. I took food in the bathroom. Uh, who knows? I've done that before. Yeah. So I, and he was like, I wake up, and what's funny is my dad and my mom were like really 
they gave me a big speech about how you don't if there's alcohol at a party, call us immediately. Mm-hmm. You know, they were very conservative with me in that. Way. They wanted to get drunk too. Yeah, totally. Like, I have yeah, that with all my friends. Know. If there is alcohol at a party, you call me immediately. Call me. Yeah, totally. If there's cocaine in a bathroom, you call me and your mother. <laughs> if you're in any bathroom with hard drugs in it, you don't hold out, okay? Every day when I got home from school, my dad would be like, Dave, you holding? You know? And then we would blow rails before dinner. <laughs> Uh, my dad, my dad and I, we're sucks. All, yeah, my dad sucks, he dude. Won't, he never chips in. You won't let me blow rails after eight. <laughs> guy sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know when you're snorting coke off your mom's purse, <laughs> and she's like, "Make the set the table." I'm like, "Shut up, mom." This lady sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Donald Trump Jr.'s like yeah. diary. Yeah, uh, totally. Dad sucks. <laughs> yeah, dad sucks, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't buy me that gold gun. <laughs> that guy sucks, dude. <laughs> you wouldn't buy me. Dad won't let me fuck my sister. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> All right, we got to rename Jurassic. Yeah, Park. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. All right, totally. you ready? Um, New names for Jurassic Park. I also interrupted you with, with the. <laughs> oh, you were talking about how Jurassic Park holds up. Holds up, it's very great. good. It's very really good. good. The effects are still pretty dope. Yeah, funny. It just moves. Great opening scene. Great. Cl- everything's just great. That style of '90s big budget romp. Yeah. Oh boy, just fantastic. Shoot it into my veins. Yeah. I love it. All right. right. New names for Jurassic Park. Let's fucking do this. Hell yeah. Let's kick it off. I love Jurassic Park. It needs new names, though. (laughs) Go. Here we go. Mesozoic Gardens. Dinosaur Jail. You should not come here. (laughs) Sam Neill and his amazing Technicolor Jeff Goldblum. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Oh, y'all ran out of food, huh? Oh. (laughs) When huge frogs attack. (laughs) (laughs) Evolution is a trick by the devil. (laughs) Uh, Tyrannosaurus next. (laughs) (laughs) Just the little ones, right? Oh, you got big ones too. Mm. (laughs) Mm. The old white man and his stupid hat. (laughs) Kill your family for $5,000. Do these kids have a dad? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh honey we're gonna need that fast pass uh wow this isn't one of mine but that made me think of uh honey i shrunk the past <laughs> <laughs> oh anything starting with honey yeah what totally <laughs> okay universal studios costa rica <laughs> I picked the wrong week to do ayahuasca. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, that's so funny. We should take mushrooms and go to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Wait, man. Whoa, whoa. Oh, man. It's like the it's like the Tyrannosaurus Rex is coming at me. <laughs> I think I can I think I can touch this yeah. dead body. No, like, is this extra? <laughs> this is extra, right? Yeah. yeah. Um all right, this one's a lot of fun. This one's, uh, oh, I'm very proud of this one. Gangster Raptors. Oh, thank that's you. it. Thank you Thanks so for much. listening. To- <laughs> yeah, I should be on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, oh, what happened? I was at the hotel. Damn. <laughs> mm. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one. Newman. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny that he plays <laughs> yeah. new he doesn't play any he's Newman. Yeah. It's also like that was his time, dude. He was in Seinfeld, Jurassic Park, and Space Jam. That is insane. Crazy. Wow. He's got Good a big going, range Newman. for a guy who doesn't ever who change. just is Newman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last one. L- uh, I got two more. Okay. Uh actually lizards are birds. <laughs> Oh, God. (laughs) At least I still got my good kid. (laughs) Hell yeah, dude. And then one star. Uh, Because, you know, now in the modern ones, they have Google reviews. mm, Somebody's like, so the hotel was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The breakfast buffet was one of the best. My dad got 
eaten. <laughs> yeah, totally. Two stars. Great hotel. Great stay. Interesting concept. Everybody died. <laughs> Everybody died. Otherwise, five stars. But we all, I mean, I made it somehow. I always love those reviews when they'll go like four out of five. I would have given it five, but my family was murdered. Yeah, exactly. So I didn't give it four out of five stars because the food was bad. The food was not bad. It was just that they yelled at me. <laughs> I will say that's the funny thing about Yelp reviews where you like don't know why. It's hard to trust them because right, you don't right. know why it has a lower review. Like with a hotel, is it just because mm -hmm. is it because it was dirty? Is it because the rooms are too small? Is it because the food sucks? You never know. I would like a review of you. Uh, you give it one star. What do people think about you? Yeah, totally. Are you an asshole? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, do you hate everything because you're the problem? Yeah. Probably. Uh, honestly. Because you can tell. You ever go to the best place ever and you go and there's a, like an all caps one star review and I'm just like, oh, you're like the heckler yeah. of, of patrons. There are also some people I think that um get their like validation from it like for whatever reason however their life went they started they didn't have anything going on and they started writing yelp reviews and they were getting attention on yelp and so it became right. like oh i'm a i'm a yelp reviewer and um yeah i mean i don't know i think that's dangerous i think that that that's gonna make you an asshole yeah. i think it's like hard for that to not make you an asshole Right. I mean, asshole, I feel like you're going to be an asshole unless something stops you. You have to stop it. Your parents have to stop yeah. it. A fist fight or two. Something's got to stop it. Especially since, like, I'm already, I'm sorry, like, as a creator and, and really just a human being out here knowing how hard it is to ever make anything. Like, if you're a critic, kind of fuck you already. Right. You're a critic and not a creator, kind of fuck you. Yeah. But at least if you're doing it for some entity, you have some sort of like QC process and you have someone else who's like thumbs upping or thumbs downing what you're making. Yeah. You're on Yelp and you just have the support of the crowd. You're just like, you have like this power that is unchecked. Right. Like, fuck you, man. Right. So leave us a review on yeah. Yelp. Yeah. Okay. Don't, please <laughs> leave our officer review. <laughs> Oh, and review our podcast. Dude, so did you see that uh, I'm on the directory in the front of the building? I did not see Because I'm the one that signed the lease. So it says, Sweet 725, Dave Ross. Wow. And I'm going to ask if they can change it to what's it called? Oh, hell yeah. And Because first of all, it should. But secondly, how great is that? People were like, wait, what's in there? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Oh, we could call it what's in there. <laughs> yeah. We could do whatever what we want. What if I could just get him to do three question marks? Oh, dude, yes. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to do this shit. Uh, yeah, let's right, read, let's read uh, some of y'all's suggestions for Jurassic Park. Yeah. Ooh, I like this one from at Gandalf the Truck. Death to Smoochie. <laughs> oh, my God. That's great. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Jurassic Snark. The Blossoming of a Gold Bloom. A Tale of Primal Desires. <laughs> it's from <laughs> at Max J. Kerr. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, here we go, Darth Plato. Your ass is parked <laughs> in front of the screen because, wow, what a movie. <laughs> What, Whoa. What a dumbass. That uh, took me on a ride yeah. right there. <laughs> Darth Plato also said Isla Fubar. <laughs> it's really clever. I like this one from At in Layman's Terms. Westboro Baptist presents Science is Bad. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> At Pocket Mobsters says Dino Crisis. <laughs> that honestly could have happened. That's, I'm glad they didn't go with that. Yeah, that's really good. From At Deconsecrate. Opposite Epstein Island. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> At Seth Mills says, that thing we know Sam Neill from. Oh, damn. Poor Sam Neill. I know. He played Merlin. He was in, yeah. Oh, Merlin. Yeah. I don't know anyone else who saw that movie. No one did. I remember it's not Merlin. very good. It's not. Nope. It's fun, though. Oh, we got another honey. So this is from at MK2Drew. Honey, I shrunk everything except the dinosaurs. <laughs> we need, That should be a new a new genre of name is the honey. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah, totally. funny to have honey. Uh, at Ham Dancers, which I guess is a reference to a ham. Matt Bronger stand-up. Ham Dancers. At Ham Dancers says, oh, man, mom and dad are going to be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's great. At Boogeyman Weather, the island that smelled terrible. Oh, man. That's great. Yeah. That's The yeah, island yeah. that smelled terrible. Yeah. At Bogdute says, Crichton's Critters. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. At Bogdute also said, I'm fairly alarmed here. <laughs> That's great. I like from At Toad Rat, a movie where strangely no one asks if they can fuck the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. I knew this was a reference. I knew. Uh, at Dino Crisis Fan BS. So I guess at Dino Crisis fan base said Dino Crisis. Yeah, because Dino Crisis was a cartoon in the in the nineties, right? I thought it was a video game. Oh, maybe it was a video game. I don't game. know. What was the name of the there was a cartoon where people rode dinosaurs and the mm. harnesses on the dinosaurs had guns. It was Whoa. like for some reason the dinosaurs had guns and well, <laughs> hell yeah. It wasn't enough to be a dinosaur. American dinosaurs. <laughs> totally. Teeth aren't enough. Dinosaurs are from Texas. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I don't want none of your Minnesota dinosaurs. Bigger. Oh, from at Demurist, extremely dangerous and incredibly dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Dino Crisis is a video game. What was I thinking of? Ooh, I don't know. Um, I'm sure we'll figure it out one day. Ooh, oh, I like this from at a sphincter says a class action park. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, At Kid Obsidian says the Shaky Water Glass movie. <laughs> oh yeah, really was that funny. the first Shaky Water Glass? I think it might have been. Oh, wow, oh, what a move! I know. Oh, one, of, one of the most copied things of all time. They're nearby. <laughs> they're nearby. <laughs> um, At Seth Mills also <laughs> says clever girl and science Colonel Sanders. <laughs> That's funny. Also. You're in a Jeep at night on an island. Yeah. Why do you have a, a, a little uh, rocks glass full of uh, room temp water on your <laughs> dashboard? What's going on here? Totally. Hey, you know, we're going for a bumpy ride in the Jeep. May, give me a glass of a room temp water and a, and a rocks glass. Tiny glass. Just one. <laughs> Just one. I'm not asking if anybody else wants one. And I will not drink it. I will sit it on the dashboard. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you doing? Every movie. Well, I'm done driving. Yeah. Yeah. No, a clear glass. Hey, park the car near the dinosaur. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, the dinosaur's out. Stop the car. That's all another funny part of the movie. Wait, what's this? I think oh. they're always like, whoa, what happened here at the T-Rex thing? I'm going to take a shit. I'm gonna. You check the T Rex. I'm gonna take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is the only thing we need to worry about happening? Oh, uh, <laughs> shit. Hey, I think the premise of the movie is starting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna take a shit. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you think the T Rex was like? I think I'll eat the guy taking a shit first. Yeah. Well, yeah. he could smell him. Yeah. Mm, you know, I love yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm going to eat people. I'm eating the guy that just got oh, rid of all the shit inside the whole him. porta potty? Like, jeez. Yeah, calm down, dude. Don't eat the wrapper, well, too. Well, maybe he knows plumbing. Maybe he knows it's underground. Oh, his shit. This one's good. At Tignaturo, dude, where's my goat? Perfect. Oh, uh, wow. Dude, where's my dude, goat? Dude, where's my goat? That's good. At, it was just Austin. Austin, not enough feathers. <laughs> At, a sphincter says, big old mean old frog lizards. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, who do we think so far? I'm not even dude, sure I mean, who's dude, in the running. Dude, where's my goat? Is really good. That might be the Ricky shit. At Bobby Benedict said, "Die Hard 2. <laughs> At Toad Rat says, "A movie where strangely no one asks if they can fuck the yeah, dinosaurs." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. At a Pod Mesozoic Mesozoic Jaws. Mesozo Mesozoic clever. is so fun to say. <laughs> At snor at to snorker who writes in a lot. What's up, Devin? Doctor Alan Grant and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. <laughs> That's really fucking That's great. great. For me, I'm thinking either Dude Where's My Goat or the Shaky Water Glass movie. Yeah, Shaky Water Glass. They're really both good. so so clever. Mm. Mm. To snorker also said, "Happy Frogland." Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> That's funny. Don't worry, um, it's fine. And That's at Winslow fun. Domain, Jeff Goldblum's chest to the movie. <laughs> I think, yeah, oh man, by the way, there are so many this week. Yeah, I know. Everybody at loves Ray, Jurassic Park. This one's perfect. At Gregan's Corpse, God was wrong. Oh man. <laughs> at Fondle Punch, Extreme Petting Zoo. <laughs> uh, at Danny great. Feltz, Death Proof. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, at Sean Keen. It's another Danny, too. Both great comedians. Mudslide Danny's egg heist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, dude. Um, okay, well, here's a fun one. At Call Me By Your Kevin said, your ass tits fart. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the one. Damn. Uh, at Bimbo, Bimbo's From Space, Reptar's mom is pissed. 
script. I think art. it's Dude, Where's My Goat? You got it. Yeah. Dude, Where's My Goat? It's, Who did that it's one? hard to beat. Oh, where'd it go? It was down here. Yeah, I lost it too. Uh, who are you, buddy? Oh, oh we're going to so, find you. I, I we're oh, going to get you. At Tigna, at Tigna Rudo. Tigna Rudo. Tigna Rudo. Right. You get the Ricky shit. This week, buddy. Fantastic. Good stuff. Thanks so much for writing in, everybody. And as we uh, as we often say, it's good to remind you, if we didn't read you this week, I'm sure we will next or the week after. Because, I mean, this is just too many good ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, but thank y'all. You yeah, know. you're the best. Follow us at What's It Pod on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, we've been Twitch streaming every Tuesday. Hell yeah. Uh, watch that with us if you want to hang out. Yeah, get out. a Twitch. It's yeah. time. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Um, and uh, if you want more of us, patreon.com slash what's it called? We have a bunch of producers for the show at you this damn point. damn right we do. Thank you all so much. Shout out to Ordinary Andrew. Ordinary Andrew. Tim Gately. Tim Gately. Peter Cumistra. Peter Cumistra. Amanda Richards. Oh, hell yeah. James Colton. Mm -hmm. Peter Dahlberg. What? Eric Williams. Oh. And of course, our in the room producer, Kyle Neal. That's right. Who makes right. everything sound great. And shout out to Chris Cresswell for making our incredible theme song. Uh, hell follow yeah. them. Follow us. Follow yourselves exactly, and you know if you're if you want to get on that Patreon, think about get that twenty five dollar a month one, and then yeah. you're a producer. You get a shout out on every episode. Yeah. Beef up that resume. Next thing you know, you're Jurassic Park. Yeah, and make sure to sit your kids on the talking log at least once a oh, week. Oh yeah, somebody three D print us a talking log. <laughs> talking log. <laughs> We're gonna live in a glass house except for one log, <laughs> and it's the only place we talk. Yeah. Oh yeah. We love you. We love you so much. All right. Bye. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called?